LDBC. This is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Well, yep, just like I told y'all. I told y'all I was right. You know, Abel Sanchez, he's pretty much shown who he really is. And, uh, of course, we, we already knew this, okay? We already knew that this guy was a racist. We knew it. But, you know, Abel Sanchez just came out in full force. See, let me tell you something. Um, here's my thing on this particular channel, or just anywhere. You know, non-blacks hate when black people actually talk about racism. And you guys, well, you know, how come you guys, all you guys talk about is race, 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 race? Well, if we wouldn't get so many racially stereotypical motivated comments, we wouldn't talk about it so much. If we wouldn't get so many people, you know, down in fighters because of their race, we wouldn't talk about it so much. I mean, we wouldn't have to keep it real. But see, Abel Sanchez, he pretty much done put it out there. See, I always know, I always learn something about a racist and people that support racist. They always try to deflect or they always try to justify what the racist person said to try to make you think that what they said isn't really racist. Hope I ain't mess y'all mind up with that one, but that's what they do. And I, I've seen a whole lot of that. I've seen a lot of that and it just, you know, it kind of sickens my stomach. You know, right now in this, in this Trump era, oh, I'm gonna say a whole lot wrong in this video. In this Trump era, it's almost like good is being confused with evil and evil is being confused with good. I always notice that the more wicked that people say things that are non-black, the more praise they get. And the more good that black people try to do, then the more hate that they get. And I'm experiencing it right here on this particular channel. Oh, I know I am. Ain't nothing to hate on with this. <laughs> Ain't nothing to hate on on this channel. I don't have a big channel. But you know, it's just the mere fact of, you know, even me being happy about something, even me being excited about something, you wouldn't be you you would be surprised how many racially comments I got after my Mario Reno video. I mean, you you would be surprised because I was excited. You got guys getting upset because I was excited that Mario Reno wanted to fight. See, Abel Sanchez, he reminds me of a guy that you know what he's trying to do. He's trying to cater. He's trying to cater to a certain group of people, and that's what he's doing. You know, I even asked him. I asked him last night. I straight up asked him, you know, I said, hey man, how can you make, how can you make a blanket statement? And I told him when I got on Dante's Boxing Nation, how can you make that statement? I mean, you're saying that black fighters don't sell? I mean, that, that that's stupid, that's BS. I told him, it's BS. You mean black fighters don't sell? And then, you know, he started dancing around the whole thing and dancing around the question and all his other stuff. And I said, well, okay, he's not gonna answer that one. So let me just ask him about Dominic Wade. Then he started telling me, yeah, well, you know, Tariano Johnson, he got injured, and Dominic Wade was next in line. Okay, so, you know, they pulled your arm to fight Dominic Wade, right? They pulled your arm. You know, like, people like Abel, they use a mandatory as a convenience. And Abel told me straight up, I don't care about no mandatory. I don't care about that, you know, if I got to, you know, uh, if it means to unify the belt. I'm trying to think, what belt was he unifying with uh, Dominic Wade? What belt was he unifying? See, man, guys like Abel, what they try to do, man, is they, they, they don't respect black people. And he'll say, oh, well, you know, I, I, I coach Terry Norris and blah, 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 blah. But, you know, that's his claim to fame. You know, he sound like the guy that's, oh, well, you know, I got black friends, you know. That, that's what it sound like to me. And, you know, I just, I don't respect him. I don't respect him. And, you know, I, I definitely now, after, after, actually, actually after having a conversation with him, a short one, I know now what I got to do definitely boycott any of his fighters anybody these guys they got to learn how to have a respect for black people man they do and there's too many entities man not having respect for black people i mean you got the nfl you got the nba you got golden boy and now you got abel sanchez which oh by the way i don't watch or support any of the entities that i just named to you i don't watch them you watching the super bowl no i'm not watching the super bowl i don't even watch football like that anyway so it don't even matter to me Okay, hey, hey, you, you gonna check out the Triple G Canelo fight? No, stop asking me. That's another thing. You know, people coming on, Coach, man, are you, are you actually not gonna talk about this fight? The answer is yes, I'm actually not gonna talk about that fight. Just like I didn't talk about it the last time, I'm not gonna talk about it this time. We still got, you know, the issue of outstanding emails. That's the thing, man. That's the thing. You know, and then when black folks bring it up to your attention, when black folks actually say, hey, this is racist, you know, oh man, you just whining and complaining. But you know, I, I, you know, I find it kind of amazing when Adrian Broner, you know, he got in the ring and he said, you know, I just beat a Mexican. Man, man, look, man, Broner, Broner, Broner he, he's taking it too far. You know, and uh, man, he shouldn't say that. Yeah, 
That's what you said about Adrian Broner. Amazing. But Abel Sanchez can say this, and everybody quiet, except for the LDBC. I mean, you know, I think if Dan the Man uh, put something out there, uh, then you have Fanon say something about it. Dante says something. Dante got offended. I mean, it's like if you black, you you would have to you would have to be offended. And if you're not offended, then I mean, what does that say about you? I'm sorry, man. You're not finna give me a blanket statement. You're not finna tell me that all black fighters, you know, no, 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 that they don't sell, they don't need no. That's not what you're about to tell me. That's not what you're about to tell me. See, Abel Sanchez don't put his foot in his mouth. And you know what? The guy didn't even have enough nerve to just say, you know what, I said it wrong. I, I really meant it like this. No, this guy tried, tried to stand up for his racist views. He's a racist. Straight up, this guy's a racist. Big time. And uh, the boxing fans ain't gonna forget this, man. Because now people know what you are. And there's no amount of covering it up that you can do. You can't. And you're probably cool with Golden Boy. Okay, at all y'all having a nice little laugh. All of y'all. But it is what it is. And I don't care who get mad or, you know, oh, well, Coach, man, you say, look, this is my opinion. Okay? This is my opinion. If you don't like it, that's fine. You saw the title of the video. Just cut the video off. Go look at some of my other videos. Go look at something. Don't come on here, Coach. Well, you racist. I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not trying to hear that either. As soon as I hear that, block, delete. Because I know what it is. Deflection. My comment section is mine. I own it. That means it won't be no deflecting topics from the whole purpose that this man got. He, he fixed his five fat necks, okay, on air in front of the world to say that black fighters don't sell. He fixed his neck to say that Charlo ain't, ain't important enough, even though he fought Dom, even though they fought Dominic Wade. Gabe Rosado, Rubio. Oh, they fought all these people. But Jamal Charlo not important enough. Yeah, right. This guy's a racist. Take a good look, y'all. See, racists, they never come out and identify themselves. Not really. They don't do that, okay? See, what they do is they smile, they act nice, and deep down inside they have a racial hatred, you know, towards you and anybody else that look like you. But they don't come out. They never, ever come out and at your door up front. See, you gotta, you gotta do just enough. And when you do just enough, they'll come out. They'll come out. But see, it takes time. See, the true ones, the real ones, not these, these wannabe racists. Nah, see, those kind of people in real life, they're not going to say nothing to you. They ain't going to say nothing to you. They're going to look at you and then, you know, try to act cool. But see, the real ones that's going to try to, you know, tear down or try to, you know, slowly interject their thinking into you, slowly, them the ones. But it is what it is. Abel Sanchez done put it out there. Now we all know the truth. And now I know that I can't support Janot. Well, I never did support him much anyway, but now this is the nail in the coffin. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done. What are you waiting on? Subscribe.